What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. This week we are headed back to one of our favorite Georgia State Parks. It has hiking, it has waterfalls, it has disc golf, so stay tuned. So the park we're bringing you guys this week is Cloudland Canyon State Park, located in Rising Fawn, Georgia. Uh, that's gonna be up in the very northwest corner of Georgia. It sits on the western edge of Lookout Mountain, and it straddles a deep gorge that's cut in by Daniel Creek. There are 72 RV sites with electric and water. There are two different loops there. The west rim has sites one through 48, and the east rim has sites 49 through 72. So this is actually our second trip to Cloudland Canyon. Uh, the first time we stayed over in the east rim, and this time we actually stayed in the, in the uh, west rim over in site 44. This is the road we're on. We're in site 44, which is right here on the corner. So it's a back in site. Um, you're going to want to not turn down this row. When you go to back in, you're going to stay on the main road, pull up past the garbage cans, and then it pretty much gives you a fairly straight shot. You can see this site is uh, very private. A lot of shade, beautiful trees down both sides. Got a little path that leads up uh, through the woods over there, up to the playground, but just an awesome campsite. And then here at the back, nobody behind you. So there is another site. Uh, there's a big, huge pull-through site right beside us over here, but. Uh, you can barely see the bus through the trees there and there's a pull through that goes all the way up and connects to the other uh, the other road on the loop up there so even with that some plenty of trees nice and private i don't know about the east rim loop uh, we didn't really take note but over on the west rim loop um all i don't know if they're brand new but they're extremely new electrical boxes um, so Everything's new in there. All the receptacles look great. So not something that uh, we see very often. You don't find that a whole lot. Uh, it's the first time we've run across a campground that has, you know, almost brand new, uh, brand new electrical boxes. So uh, when we were stayed last time on the East Room campground, those boxes were not new. So uh, again, we didn't take note to know if they're new over on that side but uh they're definitely new over here and uh that's a super nice feature um of the two we definitely prefer the west rim it's set a little further back in the park the sites are more wooded uh, there's more privacy in between the sites and uh it's it's really a beautiful part of the park the east rim is good if you want to have really easy access to uh to the overlook there at the at the gorge um if you want to have easy access to the disc golf course, all that stuff is located over just outside of the East Rim campground, but that campground really doesn't have any privacy in between the sites. Um, it's very tight to kind of navigate through there. And then once you do get set up, um, you know, you really, there's no privacy in between those sites whatsoever. So we definitely prefer, having stayed in the two, uh, we definitely prefer the West Rim over the East Rim. So one of the big draws uh, to Cloudland Canyon State Park for us is the fact that they have a very nice disc golf course there right on site. Um, if you're watching our videos, you know that we're big fans of playing disc golf. It's an excellent family activity. It's a great outdoor activity, exercise. Uh, it just, you know, it really checks all the boxes for us as far as what, you know, a fun outdoor activity should be. And uh, Cloud and Canyon's disc golf course is awesome. It has a lot of elevation change. Um, it has hills. So you get a, a pretty good workout walking that course. It's, it's not so difficult that if you're just beginning in the sport or a beginning player that it's so hard that you can't play it. But it's also challenging enough to where even if you're a more experienced player, 
uh, it's still a lot of fun and uh, provides a bit of a challenge for you. So big fan of the Cloudland Canyon Disc Golf Course. So if you're a fan of hiking, Cloudland Canyon offers a lot of different trails for you to hike. Yeah, and the most popular one is the Waterfalls uh, Trail, which is what we did. They also have some other trails that are one to two mile round trips, so not incredibly strenuous. They have the Overlook Trail that's only a one mile round trip, and that is just an easy one mile hike that uh, gives you a, a nice view uh, overlooking the canyon. So another short hike they have is the Meadowlands Trail. It's a one mile round trip. It starts up by the disc golf course. So that's a, a very easy hike to do. And then they have three other hikes that are five, six, and seven mile round trips. So those are a little more, a little more strenuous, a little longer if you want to do a little bit uh, more intense of a hike. But the main trail, the main draw, um, most, one of the most popular ones is definitely the Waterfalls Trail. So that trail starts at the uh, Overlook parking lot, which one thing that's pretty cool about Cloudland Canyon is that the view from the Overlook parking lot there is, is amazing. Um, you don't have to even hike far at all uh, to see that view. You can just get out, walk straight down to, uh, to their fence there, and then you can, you, know, you can see the canyon from there. So you can get an awesome view without having to hike, um, but if you want a real experience, you gotta check out the waterfalls, uh, the waterfalls trail. We're coming out here today to do the hike to Hemlock Falls, which is all the way at the bottom of the canyon. Um, we did this hike last time we were here, but we only went to Cherokee Falls, which is halfway. So we're gonna try and make it all the way to the bottom this time. Should be awesome. This is a view you can get just a few steps away from the parking lot. All right. So we made it to the point in the trail where you start going down uh, the stairs. So halfway down Cherokee Falls, we'll get to that point. We're gonna get down a snack and then we'll make it all the way to the bottom. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. So this first section you go through has some rocks you have to kind of get around and over. A uh, pretty rocky section, but now we have a pretty significant amount of stairs. Whew. All right, we made that. So there's our staircase going up, 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 all the way back up, up here we started. Now we're at the point where we can, you go to the left, you're gonna go down to Cherokee Falls, you get to the right, you're gonna continue down the next uh, set of stairs, and that'll take you all the way to the bottom to Hemlock Falls. We did not go all the way down to the bottom last time, so this is a new section of the hike for us.
so we're at a half mile now. Uh, we've come down the trail a half mile. We're at a nice little landing area right here. It's got some benches. Um, we're getting close. Getting done with a snack. In case you're wondering, that's going to be a Slim Jim. So <laughs> he's going to eat that, and we're going to keep going. So we're getting very close now. We've made it to this way, the Sitton's Gulch Trail, or we continue around this way, up and over. And just up over this ridge over here is the waterfall. So we're going to go check that out. So we've walked over just a little ways over toward the Sitton Gulch Trail. Just to kind of get a view of all this over here. Alright, so we made it uh, all the way to Hemlock Falls. This is the end of the waterfall trail. So you can see behind us, uh, there's our waterfall. Overall, not as strenuous as the hike sounds. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be extremely strenuous. Um, according to the old Apple Watch, we are three quarters of a mile. So it's a three quarter of a mile uh, from the parking area all the way down to the bottom here. So not bad. You can go nice and slow. There's a lot of landings, so you can, uh, you know, take your time, take a break. That's what we, you know, did with Dylan. Let him stop and get a snack. Now we're at the bottom, and we have this nice landing area right here. So big, big viewing area. So we are going to let Dylan. We're going to let Dylan have his uh, bottom of the falls snack, and then we are going to make our way back to the top. So we're gonna take a few minutes, we're gonna enjoy this view, and uh, we'll see you guys when we get back up to the parking lot. All right, so we made it back to the top of the hike. Um, we counted from that little landing where we showed you Dylan eating his snack on the way down. Uh, the first landing that we got to, we counted from there back up. Dylan, how many steps was it? 380. 380 steps. So, um, it, it is 600 steps down all the way to the bottom and 600 back up. So, a lot of stairs. Awesome hike. Would highly recommend it. Dylan, highly recommend it? I would highly recommend it for adults. It, 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 it was rough for me. But we saw a lot of children on it. So, we'll see if you're going to do this hike. Um, You'd probably be better off to go early. Uh, we got down here about 9 o'clock and didn't really see anybody on the way down. A few people. There was nobody down there like we showed you at the bottom. Um, on our way back up, we passed a tremendous amount of people that are on their way down. So uh, definitely gets a lot busier later in the day. So getting up, getting out early. Uh, we we're actually going to be down here at 8. We had some rain, so we waited on it. And uh, getting here at 9 o'clock really provided us an awesome experience on this hike. It is strenuous and you will be worn out by the time you get to the top, um, but it's definitely worth it. Um, they have so many areas where you can take a break if you need to. You can sit down. I mean, Dylan's not, you know, not uh, a huge fan of hiking to begin with. So we took advantage of all those little areas where he could take a break, sit down, and just took our time. And, uh, and it was an awesome time. We really enjoyed it. And to make it a little more enjoyable for him, we incorporated a few snacks. And when he was taking his break, he got to drink some water and have a snack. And it kept him fueled up to go and continue. Yeah, absolutely. So, it, you know, an awesome trail, awesome hike. Uh, really glad we made it all the way to the bottom this time instead of just going halfway to Cherokee Falls. It was a, it was a great hike. So that's going to wrap it up from Cloudland Canyon. Definitely, like we said in the beginning, uh, one of our favorite Georgia state parks. Uh, Georgia has a lot of awesome state parks that we've been to and they, they each have their own, um, they've had you know their own certain things that we liked about them. But Cloudland Canyon really checks off a lot of boxes because of the disc golf, um, because of 
the hiking trails that they have there. Um, the ease of some of those trails where you can still get an awesome view without having to do a tremendous amount of hiking. Uh, the fact that they do have two really totally different style camping loops there. Um, one being the western loop, you know, that's very heavily wooded and the other one being the east, uh, east rim loop that is more open. Um, so two completely different style camping loops and uh, overall just uh, an awesome, awesome state park and uh, we will absolutely be going back and uh, visiting again when we pass through the area. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road.